What's up, everybody? Thanks for tuning in to the Horsepower Obsessed YouTube channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Justin, and this is a segment we do where we're going to go over all of the C8 Corvette news and updates, especially the Z06. And sure enough, we have a really cool bit of information coming up for the Z06. Something that those of you out there who like to have control of your own vehicle are really going to love. So without further ado, let's jump right into this one. All right, guys, so most of you by now have probably noticed that I am doing a live video every Monday night at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time where we talk about or kind of wrap up some of the C8 Corvette news for the week. Most of that news is about the Z06, the E-Ray, and the upcoming performance variants, but of course there is still information coming out about the base C8 Corvette that we also touch on. But I only mention this to you because I know a lot of you guys out there are tuning in and you really like that segment, but there are the select few out there that don't tune in and prefer the videos to be a little bit shorter and more information oriented. Now, with that said, I wanted to just extend the invite for any of you guys to tune in on Monday nights at 7.30 p.m. where we talk about anything and everything Corvette related. It's actually called Corvette Weekly. I would invite all of you to tune in and just bring your questions and bring some pictures of your car so we can all form a community. But anyway, moving on guys, I want to talk today about the C8 Corvette Z06, a little bit of information that just popped up recently on the CorvetteBlogger.com and on the MidEngineCorvetteForum.com. Now this information actually comes to us from one of the chief Corvette engineers named Josh Holder. He is actually talking about the Z06 manual launch mode and he goes into great detail telling us exactly how this is going to work and why it's going to be absolutely freaking awesome. Now, the article on the mid-engine Corvette forum basically starts out by saying it doesn't matter if you have a 1, 2, or 3LZ Z06, this information is going to apply to all of them all the way across the board. And like I said, it is called the 2023 Corvette Z06's exclusive new manual launch mode will be a tire smoking good time. Now, obviously, guys, we do have somewhat of a launch mode and somewhat of a burnout mode with the C8 Corvette, but this is specific to the Z06. This is something a little bit different. Let's get into why it's different. And oddly enough, the article progresses to saying, we'll get to the how in just a second, but first, here's the why. In case you guys were wondering why a feature like this would exist on a car like this, this is why. So manual launch mode is a quick and easy way to set up the new Z06 for burnouts, which is freaking awesome. It's also how you would like to warm up the tires prior to making a run at the drag strip. And it can also assist in helping to make a rapid exit from the corners while on the track. We reached out to Corvette vehicle chief engineer, Josh Holder, who summed up the differences between between the manual launch and the regular launch control, and he summed it up pretty easily. Launch control is quick, manual launch is smoky, both intended for off public road usage, of course. Engaging the manual launch mode is about one of the simplest procedures you can do on the C8Z. Just pull back both paddles to declutch the vehicle and then release and pull either the plus or the minus paddle while keeping the other one depressed. Do that successfully and the performance transmission active light illuminates on the Z06's dash, letting you know the fun is about to start. Before we continue though, guys, I want to mention today's sponsor, which is a company called Simply Carbon Fiber. You guys have heard me talk about wallets before. Today, we actually have one that is real carbon fiber. It is made by a company called Simply Carbon Fiber. It's set up very similar to the Ridge wallets. It has the money clip in the back and you can still pop the cards out the same exact way you do with the Ridge wallets, only this one is 100% real carbon fiber. If you're not into the wallet design, check this out. How about this? This is a cell phone case that comes in this really nice velvet protector this is how it was shipped to me and if we pull it out sure enough real forged carbon fiber so this is for the iphone 13 pro which as you guys know i use so we can just take it and real easily pop it into the case here like so and now the phone is protected and has some awesome forged carbon fiber there now i will drop the link to these products down in the description below but if you guys are interested in either one of these two actually real carbon fiber accessories you can save 10 percent off of either one of them just for being a horsepower obsessed fan check out the link in the description down below josh tells us that the manual launch was developed specifically for the z06 and that the lt6 engine revs so quickly due to its low inertia crankshaft lightweight titanium connect rods and the low profile piston design that makes it very difficult for most drivers to catch the engine before it hits the rev limiter. That's pretty insane right there. So we already kind of knew that the Z06 was going to be pretty high revving and pretty quick revving, but that kind of puts it into a totally different perspective that this mode had to be introduced because it was very unlikely that most people would be able to hit a certain RPM without hitting the rev limiter 
That's pretty insane. The article continues with a quote from Holder saying that if the driver releases both paddles at or near the rev limiter, a clutch engagement or double paddle release can result in an uninspiring launch. The lack of reserve torque can pull the engine speed down as the engine recovers torque by opening the throttle body, refilling the large intake manifold and fueling, all of which takes time, resulting in a launch bog. Manual launch slows the acceleration of the engine when the transmission is declutched with more reserve torque available to allow the driver to better time a clutch engagement or double paddle release. So there you have it. It's straight from the source. The entry for the manual launch control can be found on the owner's manual in page 203, and it's pretty freaking interesting. What's even more interesting is the warning that follows. It says, when exiting double paddle declutch, the vehicle may move rapidly. You could lose control and cause a crash with nearby people or objects. Be ready to release the accelerator pedal or apply the brakes immediately if the vehicle moves too quickly. Do not use the double paddle declutch when people or objects are near. I love that for so many different reasons, but guys, it makes it sound like this thing is going to be an absolute monster and I'm okay with that. Now, for those of you who don't know or haven't been watching the live videos I've been doing every Monday night at 7.30 p.m., like we talked about earlier in the video here, we go over a lot of the information that is available on the internet in kind of a weekly update. And one of the pieces of information we talked about was the fact that the C8Z06 was also going to have an adjustable launch control. So you could actually adjust the RPM as well as the differential slippage. So you have control over all this stuff, just like you would in an actual race car, which, of course, this Z06 is pretty much going to be. Now, with all that said, we're also going to have a really awesome manual launch mode. It's going to give us the option to actually do a burnout. Now, if you guys aren't familiar with the base model C8 Corvette, there really isn't much burning out you can do in that car. So you can do the double paddle declutch to an extent with the base model as well. It really was an uninspiring burnout to do. I, I've done it a couple times in my C8 whenever I was at the drag strip, and it really doesn't give you a smoky burnout. It barely is enough to even warm up the tires. I'm hoping this is going to be different. And so far, based on some of the alerts and warnings in the actual user manual, it sounds like it's going to be pretty good. So what do you guys think? Let me know down below, is this something you're going to use? I know in some of my live videos, I actually did a poll asking how many people were really going to take the Z06 to the track. And I was pretty surprised to find that it was over 60% of you guys are actually going to take this car and go to the track. That's amazing. I love that. I'm definitely going to be doing the same. I'm definitely going down to the drag strip first, though. I want to see how this thing will do in the quarter mile before anything else and so i'm going to be seeing the launch control stuff right off the bat the manual burnout mode right off the bat and from what i'm reading here it is not the same as what we have on the base c8 corvette right now so this is something totally different this is something that's going to work a little bit better it's going to launch the car better it's going to allow you to do the burnouts to get those tires ready a lot better than it does with the base c8 guys i think we have a winner on our hands now i know a lot of you out there right now a lot of you are going to say in the comments that's great justin but when's the car coming and i'm with you i'm totally with you and honestly we've talked about that in some of my live videos as well it could be a little while and depending on when this car actually comes maybe some of you have jumped ship and gone with the e-ray instead but honestly i can tell by the manual and some of the hype build around this car right now this thing is definitely going to be worth it but anyway guys let me know what your thoughts are down below is the launch mode something you're going to use in your car assuming you get the z06 how about the manual burnout mode? Let me know what your thoughts are down in the comment section below so we can kind of make a conversation about this. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. So if you liked what you saw, please smash that thumbs up button. Let me know you're liking the content so I can keep doing this kind of stuff for you. I'd love to make this a regular Friday update, kind of recapping the news in a shorter video. And then, of course, on Monday, having everybody tune in and talking more about Corvettes in general and making a community out of it. So for now, we're going to try to get a video out every Friday, recap some of the C8 Corvette news, and then on Monday, doing it live. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, please do. I'm going to have loads of content like this coming you're not going to want to miss. And as always, guys, I will catch you in the next upload.